Hey guys, Dean here. So you've just set up your Shopify store, but you don't really know how to set up the shipping settings. Now, before you obviously sell any products to customers, you need to make sure that your shipping settings are set up correctly. So I'm talking about your shipping rates, how much it costs in each different zone, where you're actually going to offer shipping, and basically all of the regions for your shipping settings. I'm gonna be walking through the full shipping settings walkthrough in this video and showing you exactly how to set it up. So let's just jump in and get started. So when you're on Shopify, what you want to do is press the settings cog in the bottom left hand side of the screen this will basically take you to all of the shopify settings now you want to specifically click on shipping and delivery okay this is where we're going to set up all of our shipping zones and shipping rates and i'm on a completely brand new shopify store i'm using a trial just to show you guys this feature so everything should be brand new and fresh apart from the fact that i have linked this to a supplier so things may look a little bit different okay so once we're inside the shipping rates customizer what we want to do is you want to have a look and we have general right so you want to press manage and in general we don't really have that many things in here everything's just flat you can see we have a standard international shipping zone so what you basically want to do is you want to have a look down here we have a few pre-configured rates but these pre-configured rates are by default right so we want to make sure that we can change these now i'm going to go ahead and just delete all of these normal rates that we have because these are completely useless right now because we want to set up our own zone so i'm actually going to go ahead and delete the zones that we already have you might have some by default you might not but i'm just going to delete the ones we already have okay and then press create zone like i said before and now we can type in the zone names because i've deleted the defaults which i had so the first one we're going to call it global and what we're going to do is select some countries to sell globally right now what you can do is you can select all of the countries manually now there used to be a tick box where we could literally select them all but for some reason right now i have to select them all manually so just go down this list and make sure to select all the countries okay because if you want to sell globally especially if you're using a currency converter i'm just going to mention now if you do want to sell globally you're going to need to actually support all the global currencies now the best way to do this is to install the app called the best currency converter i do actually already have a video on using this app and how to set it up so check that out on the channel i'll try and remember to actually put that in the video description down below for you guys to check out so i'd recommend later to install that because if we're selling globally you're going to have to make sure that people for an example if they're american they can actually buy your product in dollars if they're from somewhere else they can use the euro for an example so just go down and select these i'm just going to skip ahead and when you selected them all now we have all the regions selected and just press done now after we've set up our actual shipping zone which is what we've just done we've set up a global shipping zone you want to actually add the rates to the global zone okay the rates are basically going to be basically the cost of the shipping and all the properties in regards to the zone we created so now we're creating rates for the zone okay so press add rate we're going to set up our own custom rates now the rates is going to be how much the customers are going to pay for the shipping so it's going to show them options when they actually buy your product on checkout so the first one we're just going to call it shipping insured now if you put a price in here obviously we could put something like five pounds 99 or whatever currency your default is but if we leave it blank it will actually give us free shipping so if you want to offer free shipping you can do it this way otherwise you can do it via coupons and discount codes so just press done that's going to be a standard shipping region if you want to edit it you could also just call it basic shipping or you could call it standard shipping so we're just going to call it standard shipping now if you want to make a little bit of extra money because we are offering free shipping here we could actually add a secondary shipping option now this will obviously bolster the average order value so how much people are spending per order typically is going to boost the stats if we offer a shipping which gives them a faster rate now this might not actually be a faster shipping rate you might just charge them extra but you can do certain other things so for example if i was to press add rate again and we'll set up a second one what you could do is for people who actually pay for this increased price for better shipping you could basically fulfill their orders first or give them a priority in the list so if you see people with that shipping in like ds's or in shopify you can just fulfill their order first so they technically receive it first so that's what this is going to be all about so what we're going to call this rate is we're going to call this priority shipping so basically this is kind of like them skipping the queue and jumping ahead like when you're at a fairground and people pay for a fast pass and they're jumping ahead of this queue to basically get in the ride first before the normal people who are paying the standard ticket right so this is what they're going to do 
we're just going to basically prioritize the orders to fulfill them first if they pay for this now it's really your choice what you charge for the specific shipping rate i'd recommend basing this on the cost of your product but if you're offering free shipping anyway with the standard shipping we set up then it really doesn't matter what this price is we could just select like four pounds 99 four dollars 99 but like i said if you're already offering free shipping you can just make this cheap too like 2.99 i'm just going to select four pound 99 and now we have a basic shipping and we have a priority shipping and we have a worldwide global shipping zone so basically we have markets in the uk which is the default for the store we have international market which is inactive and european union right now but we have the global shipping zone with standard and priority shipping so just press save you won't be able to see it because it's behind my camera right now but there's a save button at the top right of the settings press that to save the changes we've just made and now you can see that we have shipping zones and it's updated and we can see we have global shipping now it says here customers in 40 countries and regions won't be able to check out because they're in, in an inactive market so you can click go to markets here markets is on the left hand side we can customize this so it says your international settings are now in markets so this is where they've moved the international settings to so we have those other markets i mentioned earlier so if we press manage like the european union you can see we have market settings press inactive change it to active and press save and it will recommend localized experiences so when they go to your site it pops up with a default country so if i go to com on like a different website it'll say i'm on the american version if they go on this they can press shop now in their own locale okay so you can go to markets too this is another thing you can do manage international change inactive to active on here you can also further customize different settings which we're not going to go through because it's not really related to the actual shipping but you can change things like the payments processes or payment methods you accept in certain locations you can set the taxes and i guess vat and there's a lot of things you want to check out here which is very important now one thing you guys may not be aware of is if you're using a different app on shopify to actually fulfill your orders i would recommend things like ds's and usa drop i have usa drop selected right now if you were to use any of these apps to actually fulfill your products orders then there's another thing you have to do another step so where it says here not shipping from and it says usa drop for an example i could press add rates and press use the same rates as and usually you could do this for ds's as well which is what i'm currently using whatever your shipping app is you need to do this process so if it was ds's it would say ds's down here not shipping from ds's you press add rates and you select this use same rates as and by default it would say use the same rates as and then it would say default or standard or standard shipping or whatever zone you just set up in the previous part of this video and then you would just click on done use same rates as press done and it'll update that to your fulfillment app you're using so your new zones are shared by the app too that's very important guys you need to do that because if you've installed ds's usa drops Zen drops pocket any of those then you need to do that otherwise your order zones won't work for those apps when you fulfill your orders now in terms of the actual markets section which we covered briefly a few moments ago you can do what i did press manage on each market and enable them or you can actually add what's called a custom market so at the top there's this button here add market so we're going to click on that and just like what we called our shipping zone earlier we're going to call this market name global which is going to cover all regions so that we can sell in the global market because when you go on the shipping and delivery settings it will say what is said before for me where i couldn't sell to like 40 countries so this is important so go down press add countries and regions and you want to go through every single option on the list now luckily here we have a tick box for each major continent so for africa i can press this and it'll tick all the african countries and regions like north africa such as egypt so you want to go through scroll down select all of asia we can do that too central america europe so we can cover all the european mass market north america canada mexico and united states oceania which is like australia other south america and then that's all the major continents of the world so we have 236 countries selected and then we simply just want to press done so now we have all of our regions selected for our market section so we can sell basically everywhere in the world okay anything from algeria to venezuela basically we've just got covered now now what you want to do is you want to press the green button save which is in the top right yet again you can't see this because it's behind my camera and when you press save it will actually remove two markets because earlier i 
showed you how to enable the European Union and international markets. But now we've set up our own market settings. So this is normal where it says two will be deleted. Just press add market. This will delete the defaults, which we enabled earlier and use our new custom market settings. So wait for it to save because it takes a while to update. And when it's saved, it will say market added. And now you can see we have a global market. We have worldwide now activated. So we have global and from here we can change a lot of settings too. Now one important thing is there are a few little issues which I have here. Okay, you can see for an example, it says this market can't be activated because 196 countries are missing shipping rates. So you want to press add rates. This goes back to our shipping issue that we had before. So press manage and you can see not covered by your shipping zones 196 regions press create and then i'm just going to select all of these again now unfortunately we have to do this manually we can't actually do this just by ticking the region so you're gonna have to go down this list manually now take your time with this guys because if you miss one country you're gonna have to go back and find it later and it's just gonna be basically so hard to actually identify okay when you think you've selected them all i'm just gonna literally call this rest of world and create a new shipping zone and we can press add rate and we can set up our own rate or use certain apps to set up the rates. We're going to set up normal rates again. We're going to set up standard shipping and this is going to be the free shipping like before. We're going to set up priority shipping again and just select the drop down because this will basically fill out the same name as we used before. And I'm just going to set the same prices, right? Press done. Now where it says not covered by your shipping zones, it said zero countries, right? So we should now have covered the whole world. So now we can just press save. This is super important to do. So now we should have covered all of the different regions of the world. We're just going to go back into the market section to make sure everything's updated now when we go back to the market section it says countries and regions you don't sell to we can view that just press on manage on the global one we set up earlier and press manage next to shipping and now you can see we can view all these countries that we have and all of them have two rates on the side which is normal because that means that they basically have the standard and the priority shipping we set up also your page might freeze when having a look at these settings because there's so many countries in the drop down box this normal if it freezes once or twice just to load everything in the settings Things. But you should see we have pretty much everything. I think we've covered most countries from basically Albania down to Zimbabwe. We've got a lot of countries. So we're just going to press back. And at least we're selling to the majority of the world here. Okay. That's basically better than nothing. So it should have covered every global country. If not, we're selling to most of the countries now. And you can see we don't have any errors saying we're not selling to any areas of the world, which means we can now select this box where it says inactive and press active and press save because all the shipping rates have been activated for all of the countries in our market. Now, after we set this up, you can then proceed onto the next section. Now, if you want to further customize this yourself, you can change products and pricing, duties and import taxes, which we're going to have a look at now, and different shipping rates. You can further customize what we sell up, payments and taxes, okay? So let's go to taxes and duties next. And it says you're not charging tax on some product variants. Make sure all your taxable variants are set up to charge taxes. Now, when you begin your dropshipping store or e-commerce for that matter, because this is obviously applicable to all Shopify stores, then you don't really want to worry about taxes because you're not getting any orders, right? So there's no point for you to be charging tax. You may not have even set up a proper business or your business might be completely fresh. So when you're brand new, you don't actually need to really necessarily worry about this. You can press on edit variants and this will allow you to set taxes on your products so i could tick all my products or the variants of products and press save and then you could charge taxes on those products that's how you would set up the tax on your product variants you can also manage the sales tax collection so you can create a shipping zone in the regions which we've done and then find the individual regions out of our list and manage the tax settings of the region so if we press show all it shows all the countries which we've added in our region right and where it says a dash that means that we're not actually necessarily charging tax on them now if you scroll down where it says decide how tax is charged you can manage the tax settings so you can press include tax in prices this will tax or add a tax rate onto all your prices you can also charge tax on shipping rates and vat on digital goods okay you'll need a vat number and you'll need to have registered to that actual system to enable you to do this though do bear in mind so do research into these before you set them up make sure you're doing everything right but that's how to do it also in locations i'm going to blow this out but this is the location of your store so your shop location will usually be here it'll say your address if it's a personal address or a commercial address and it'll also show your app location so my main fulfillment app is ds's which i always show you guys to use that to auto fulfill everything i'm shipping products from their fulfillment servers or at least using that to fill aliexpress orders right so there you have it guys that's how to set up all the shipping settings for shopify when you create a brand new shopify dropshipping store or any shopify store for that matter hopefully 
hopefully now you can know how to ship all your orders out to every single country in the world and decide if you want to ship globally maybe to a certain market like Europe or Africa and you know exactly how to set up those shipping rates and the shipping zones which may have been a little bit confusing to you before watching this video so make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if it helped you out and leave me any questions in the comment section below if you need any assistance or help or if you're confused about anything I showed you in this tutorial and I'll be happy to get back to you and help you out with that in the comments and I'll see you soon.